If you're exploring different water heater options, you've probably encountered condensing or non-condensing tankless water heaters. Shopping for a new water heater can be tricky when so many options are available and it's hard to tell them apart from each other. To help make this process a whole lot easier, you will need to look at how condensing and non-condensing tankless water heaters compare and today we're covering that in this video. <laughs> For over 15 years here at Monkey Wrench, we continue to help homeowners in Los Angeles and the surrounding neighborhoods with all their tankless water heater needs. Our experience and specialized training from the top tankless water heater manufacturers has allowed us to share some valuable insight with you here today. Hey, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing as we are constantly adding new videos on all things plumbing, heating, and air. Now let's jump in. Now to achieve this, we'll compare two tankless water heaters in the following categories, efficiency, ventilation, upfront cost, and environmental impact. What is the difference between condensing and non-condensing? These two tankless water heaters are powered by natural gas and have burners that create the flame that heats the water. A key difference is that condensing tankless water heaters have two heat exchangers and non-condensing have one heat exchanger. Heat exchangers are a crucial part of the tankless water heater because it's responsible for transferring the heat generated from the unit and transferring it to the incoming water to produce hot water. Which is more efficient, condensing or non-condensing tankless water heaters? Non-condensing tankless water heaters have a UEF rating between 0.80 to 0.85. Condensing tankless water heaters have a UEF rating of over 0.90. Condensing tankless water heaters have a higher rating because they are more able to efficiently convert energy to heat water. Thanks to a secondary heat exchanger, condensing tankless water heaters use less energy than non-condensing units because they can recycle heat from exhaust gases as a natural heating source. With non-condensing tankless water heaters, exhaust gases and steam are ventilated instead of recovered by a secondary heat exchanger. Now the next difference we are covering is ventilation requirements. Homeowners may not think about ventilation when choosing a new tankless water heater, but it's a significant part of any water heater installation. Non-condensing. The type of venting required depends on the specific model and brand of tankless water heater. Manufacturers include the ventilation required for these tankless water heaters so technicians understand what kind of venting they will need. Condensing. These tankless water heaters have built-in special venting required to help capture the exhaust gases. This process produces condensate. The condensed water is acidic due to the combustion process and needs to be collected and removed to prevent interior tankless water heater damage. The non-captured gases can be vented with PVC plastic pipes which are cost effective. Let's talk about cost differences between condensing and non-condensing. Condensing and non-condensing tankless water heaters all within the same price range of $4,500 to $8,500. Nonetheless, condensing tankless water heaters can cost between $200 to $500 more due to their technological design and high energy efficiency. Due to its higher energy efficiency ratings, condensing tankless water heaters can provide homeowners with more money and energy savings than non-condensing units. Aside from money, Let's explore how condensing and non-condensing tankless water heaters impact the environment. Non-condensing tankless water heaters consume more fuel than condensing water heaters to heat the same amount of water and produce more greenhouse gases. As a result of their superior energy efficiency, condensing tankless water heaters require less fuel consumption, resulting in lower greenhouse gas emissions. The condensed wastewater produced by condensing tankless water heaters is acidic and potentially harmful to your home's yard and garden. To counteract this, some cities require tankless water heater installations to include a neutralizer that neutralizes the acidity and makes it safer to dispose of. Both condensing and non-condensing tankless water heaters produce greenhouse gases, and homeowners who would want a more environmentally friendly unit should consider an electric-only tankless or a conventional water heater. Whether you choose condensing or non-condensing, your home will be positively impacted by the savings tankless water heaters provide on top of having accessible hot water. If you found any of the information in this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we are constantly adding new videos every week.